This is absolutely a dream come true because I totally didn't expect this coming, especially after a quiet year without much traveling and practicing for me. So yeah, hopefully I can learn and get the most out of this remarkable opportunity. Yeah, it's been it's been obviously a difficult year and a half for everyone with the coronavirus <laughs> pandemic. And I know that yeah. travel in and out of Hong Kong's not been easy. And as you say, you've not been able to practice as much. What, what What's the situation like now? And when, when do you hope to be able to travel over and compete ne next season? Uh, it's better now. Uh, from the March of this year, I started to practice because uh, the Sports Institute and the Snow Cup is open again. So... Yeah, I hope I can travel to UK by the end of June for the Championship League. Uh, because of COVID and the quarantine, I think I will probably stay longer in UK and make less trips to practice and to prepare for the upcoming tournaments. Snooker has always been a male sport, but I think the media has a huge influence on how society feels women. And the men's standard is indeed higher today. However, I see um, no reasons why uh, some of the best ladies cannot reach the level needed to compete with the professionals. 50 years ago, you did not see a female president leading a country or female executives leading a worldwide organization. Uh, there were uh, only a few female drivers, uh, doctors or lawyers. And the world has been changing and gender, I think, is no longer a barrier to many things. So I really hope this time uh, the appearance ladies on the main tour can attract more younger generations to the sport, uh, either as a hobby or career. I think it would be good. You've had a huge success on the women's circuit. You know, you've won you know, world championship titles. How much do you think that experience of playing under the ultimate pressure of playing for a world championship will, will benefit you when you come onto the tour? Mm -hmm. Well, continue playing as much as the uh, ladies circus. I also hope to have more uh, chance to play in the open competitions with men, with ladies. I think the opportunity to compete uh, with the top players and I think this is more important to um, more easy to let us to improve our standards I think the results to about playing them is not the most important thing even losing or not winning a match I think is not the end of the world I think what you take from take away from the match is more important You've had a great rivalry with Rianne Evans over the years, competing for, for all the big prizes, and, and you've had some great matches. How much do you think you've benefited each other in, in pushing each other's standards on and, and, and you know, trying to both up your own games to beat each other? I think healthy competition is always good. And off the table, we are all very good friends. So, uh, yeah, we are all trying to give our best every matches. So, yeah. Uh, Hopefully, uh, there will be more ladies joining us as well. And I think the most important in this time, we and event, we, we and Rian can have the chance to play on the main tour. I think uh, most important is we can support each other and cheer up for each other as well. And, and you know, another person who's obviously, you know, I'm sure had an influence on your career is Marco Fu. He's obviously a, a legend of, of the game in, in Hong Kong. And, uh, you know, it's great to see that Marco will be on the tour with you next season as well. He had troubles with travel last year and, and dropped off. but has mm. got that invitational tour card to stay on. How big of an influence has he been on you? And I know you've practiced together quite a bit in the Hong Kong Sports Institute. Yeah, yeah. He's definitely my idol as well. And I look up to him as my older brother <laughs> because his gentleman look and the positive image was probably that changed the um, overall image of the sport in Hong Kong. And yes, we do practice with each other. And he gave me a lot of advice on the shot selections and his experience. And also, um, Lately, he just made a uh, 147 maximum break against me in March. <laughs> He's a very good player, my idol. <laughs> and, and I suppose it would be nice to be able to represent Hong Kong alongside him on the World Snooker Tour. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. And ho- and I really hope uh looking forward to draw him for once at least so the people in Hong Kong can stay up very late to watch because there is a seven hours time difference between Hong Kong and UK. So yeah, I really hope we have this chance. And the most important is Hong Kong will win it away. <laughs> And um, we we came to the Hong Kong Sports Institute to do a piece with Marco a couple of years, and we saw the, the facility. Mm. It's an amazing facility there with snooker alongside all sorts of other sports. How important has it been to have a place like that? And you know, people like Wayne Griffiths and and David Rose to sort of mentor you along the way. How how important has that been for you? Yeah, I always find myself very lucky to have um to be a Hong Kong athlete along with three good coaches. And of course, my father as well. And very pleased to have Hong Kong Sports Institute uh, to support us. And we don't have to worry about the funding and fully concentrate on uh, to the competitions. So uh, I think we're very lucky. And Hong Kong SI also provide gym, uh, physio technologies, which I think uh, it all helped me with my game a lot. And, and just finally, you know, it's, um, yeah, as you say, it's not long until hopefully you'll be able to come over and, and play in that, that championship league. Just uh, mm. how excited now are you to, to get started? Oh, I'm looking forward. I started to think, uh, what should I pair to UK? Probably need to stay quite a bit in, long in UK. I think before I was only uh, stay for a week or two, but now probably a few months talking about. <laughs> Have you figured out where you're going to base yourself in the UK yet? Or is that still to be decided? Uh, I think uh, maybe after the championship league, I will go to Wales to practice um, at the Lee Walkers Club. Yeah, I think there are a few uh, players practicing there as well. So I hope I could play with them as well. Well, we're really looking forward to having you on the circuit and best of luck for the next two years. Thank you. (laughs)